exactly 30 minutes later, I saw a helicopter land. Several men in black suits jumped out, surrounding a handsome guy who didn't look much older than me. You, girl, what's the problem? Call me Rose. And the problem is that you need to ask your men to back off. This is our property. I bought this dump, so it's my property. So you'll just destroy it because you own it? Over my cute body. Do you have any idea who I am? Does it look like I care? The guy stared at me, then smirked. You won't give up, will you? Nope. Fine. Come to the office tomorrow, and uh, we'll have a little chat. I'll think about it. Saying that, he left, and so did the workers. That was fast. Later that night, Pops told me the guy's name was Henry Hampton, and his parents owned half the city. I wasn't scared of him, even if he was the President of the United States. And the next morning when I reached his office, I was more than ready to let him know that. But the place was so big, I couldn't figure out which door to open. I accidentally entered the wrong room and found a boy my age playing the piano. But he sounded a bit off. Try working with an F minor, it's much smoother. Excuse me? I wanted to apologize for butting in, but before I could, a security guard came and escorted me to another office where Henry was waiting for me, and he looked so intimidating. Our meeting yesterday had me rethink the mall project, but on one condition. I want you to work as my assistant. What? Why? I've had many pretty assistants over the years. Now, I want a smart one. Did he just call me ugly? But I'm a space nerd. There really isn't much I can do here. Why don't we start you off at uh, $4,000 a day and leave the rest to me? Okay, that was a lot. Henry stared at me, waiting for an answer. My gut screamed no, but what choice did I have? It was either this or lose the planetarium, and no way I was going to let that happen. Ugh, fine. The entire next...